Well, it's staying healthy news. A San Diego bodybuilder says that he got rid of his acne by changing his diet. And no, these pictures are not photoshopped. Brian Turner says that he had terrible acne on his face since puberty. After trying nearly everything in the book, Turner then became a vegan. Every day he drinks a gallon of water and eats 10 to 16 servings of vegetables. Did you he says his face has cleared up, and he says if you do those two things, you will see a difference in your skin too. I was on the news talking about my acne. I've never, ever been on TV, never thought I would be on TV in a million years, and I was on the news. So this is how it all happened. Last Friday was my birthday, so I woke up, I was relaxing, enjoying my day, just taking time off, doing whatever I really wanted to. And then around midday, like 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, I started getting all these snaps, all these Instagrams saying, hey, you've been posted on the Daily Mail. The Daily Mail made an article out of the Instagram clip that you made where you explained what you did or what people can do to improve their acne. For those of you that don't know, the Daily Mail is a pretty big UK news outlet. So for them to make an article out of an Instagram clip that I made was just mind blowing to me. I wanna roll the Instagram clip right now so you guys can see exactly what they made an article about. So I used to have super, super severe cystic acne all over my face, nodular cyst, four, five, six of them at a time every single day of my life. Literally never would I not have at least three or four cysts on my face. And eventually I was able to clear it up I mean, even to this day, I, I don't stay completely clear. You can see I have a little tiny dot right here, but I'm mostly clear now. A lot of you guys were asking me though in the last couple of posts, how did you get clear? Exactly what did you do? And I can't lie to you. I took Accutane for over 70 weeks. After I took Accutane, I started to relapse a little bit. I started to see my acne start to come back in little dots. And so what I did was I tried multiple different things, but the thing I ended up sticking with was going vegan. So that means, you know, no animal-based products at all. But that also for me meant drinking way more water, eating way more vegetables, trying to eat a little bit less processed foods, and of course, no dairy. If you aren't going to go vegan, that's totally fine, but no dairy at all, and tons of vegetables. That's my biggest suggestion. If you do those two things, I guarantee that you will see some difference in your skin. It was just a super simple Instagram clip where I explained what I found has helped clear up my acne, but it was crazy because the Daily Mail posted it. It got taken up by so many other news outlets and posted all across the world. One of the craziest things that came out of this, and it was crazy crazy because I didn't know any of this was happening. Literally, I wasn't contacted by anybody, not even the Daily Mail. They just wrote the article and then all this stuff kind of just spontaneously came up. The Channel 10 News in San Diego actually made that what you saw at the beginning of this video, that clip and that little news article about me, which I thought was just nuts because I've never been on television and also I didn't have any clue this was gonna happen. Now fast forward by about a day and all these new people from around the world are coming into my Instagram and my YouTube and my Facebook, reading some of my older posts, looking at some of my older videos and they're leaving all these comments and it's freaking awesome that my story was shared so that I'm able to outreach so many more people. But one of the reasons, one of the main reasons that I want to make this video is that I wanted to clear the air because I feel like a lot of people in the comment section got the idea of how I cured my acne, how I cleared up my acne. I think they got it misconstrued because the news outlet centers didn't actually interview me. They kind of just grabbed information that they thought sounded good and put it all into an article. So it does have some discrepancies, especially in the title. For example, the first unrevised title of the Daily Mail article was Vegan Acne Cure Shared by Bodybuilder, which I do believe that if if I could go back before I took Accutane and do the vegan diet first, I honestly do think that it would have cleared me up quite a bit. But there were a lot of people who are aware that I've taken Accutane in the past. I did a 70 week or so course of it before I figured out any of this taking dairy out, drinking tons of water, having tons of vegetables thing. And they were really irritated by the fact that most of the articles were focusing on the fact that I have gone vegan in the last year and a half and that's helped keep my acne clear. So with all of that being said, I want to take this part of the video to explain exactly what I've done to clear my acne and what you can do to try and clear your acne before you go on to something as crazy as Accutane. I started getting acne around 13 or 14 years old, but when I started bodybuilding at 15 years old, I decided I wanted to put on as much muscle mass as possible. So I had to get so many calories in. This is when my acne started exacerbating because I was starting to take in about a gallon of milk every single day, in addition to tons of whey protein supplementations, protein bars, all sorts of different like, you know, the general things that you hear when you want to become a bodybuilder and my acne got worse and worse and worse. Acne cysts started popping up. I'd have five, six, seven at the same time at any point of the week, every single day. And this, I really do believe, was because I was getting 1,500, 2,000 calories from milk and no one ever told me, stop drinking milk. That's what's causing your acne. So I just made it worse and worse and worse over the course of four or five years. At this point, 
I was fed up. I had tried all the topical creams and treatments like Epiduo and Proactive and things like that. I had tried different sort of home remedies like rubbing this and that on my skin, trying apple cider vinegar. Uh, I had actually gone and done all the antibiotics like doxycycline, monocycline that my doctor would give me. And eventually I got to the point where I was like, this is it. I'm willing to do pretty much anything that will make my face clear. And I wish somebody would have stepped in at that point. I wish somebody would have stepped in before I started Accutane and said, yo, try taking out dairy, try eating 10 to 16 servings. I know that's crazy, but a lot of servings of vegetables every day and try to drink at least a gallon of water a day. I didn't know these things and I started Accutane as a last resort. And I truly think that Accutane should be your last resort after trying everything. And now that you've watched this video, one of the things that you have to try is try drinking more water, eating more vegetables, and removing dairy of all parts out of your diet. I don't care that you like that whey protein bar. I don't care if there's like that, that those Cheetos or the Doritos that have just a little bit of milk protein powder. It doesn't matter. Take all dairy out. It is such a huge factor when it comes to having acne. And for me, it was my entire source of it. With that being said, I did go on Accutane. It cleared up my acne. My acne started coming back after about three to four months off of Accutane. And at that point, I realized that there was something I needed to do to keep my skin from relapsing after Accutane because I had heard that millions of people had to take a second course and I did not want that. So what I ended up doing is dropping dairy first and I saw massive improvements with my skin. Then from there, I took in way more vegetables, dropped the meat out entirely. And from this point on, I have had pretty damn clear skin ever since, and that's been about a year and a half ago that I went vegan. This is the problem with the news story though. Yes, my vegan diet has cleared me up since my acne started coming back post Accutane, but they did not make a big enough mention of it in the title for people to understand that I used Accutane, and then I'm telling you that you should probably try some sort of plant-based or increasing your vegetable intake and dropping your dairy out technique before you try Accutane. I wanted to make this video to clear up for especially those who are new to the channel, who are coming in and haven't seen anything in the past, don't know any of my history. I wanted to make this video to clear it up so that you know exactly how I've gone about it and you also understand my perspective and why I suggest that you try taking out dairy, increasing vegetables, increasing water before you start Accutane as a last resort. And to be honest, I'm also making this video because I've never been on TV, I've never been in the news, and it is just nuts to me. So I had to make sort of like a landmark, a bookmark for me to look back on, which is gonna be this video. All right, that wraps this video up. Thank you all so much for Snapchatting me, Facebooking me, DMing me, all the different news articles that were written about me, especially over this weekend for my birthday. It was like the coolest birthday present ever. My birthday vlog, what exactly? I did on my birthday will be up in the next video so you guys can look forward to that I just had to get this video up first any suggestions on what's helped you with your acne Please leave them in the comments below because other people will be reading the comments and you can help so many people by doing that And if you're not subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe to my channel. I try to put out great content I'm always open to ideas from you guys So you guys can always chime in and let me know what you want to see next other than that I'll see you in the next video team beyond the week CT lift heavy or die Myron mother Fuck. Mm. Team Beyond the Week. CT Lift